Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rust, and today I'm going to be going over how to play Alice. Um, so Alice is right now is one of the top supports in the game, and she probably will be for a long time just due to her kit, and um, it's kind of hard to balance out someone with this strong of a kit. Um, so what makes her so strong is that she has an area of effect stun um, that you can cast out, and you don't have to be next to them to use it. And then the second ability will give you a little bit of a speed up boost by 30%, um, as well as you have all allies around you, um, a shield, not really effective of a shield, but still good for the speed up. And the third one will put down um, a huge circle where it will slow and silence everyone initially. Um, and then the slow will continue throughout them being in there. Um, and yeah, so yeah, she's a really strong hero right now. I really enjoy her the way I like to build her is building those sonic boosts first that way it reduces enemies basic attacks and gives me a little bit of armor at the start um and after that knight's plate and from there i will go into frosty's revenge synergizes really well with her ultimate as well as her first ability since it adds even more of a slow onto her ultimate um and keeps him trapped in there longer as well as if after you land your stun the first ability um when the stun is up they'll still be slowed a little bit I'm just going to go and throw that stun in there, stun the Natalia. Uh, Nacroth's just slowing everything on me. Um, but he doesn't have enough damage yet to really kill me. So, as you might have seen throughout that early game, I was mostly just trying to keep vision running up and down that river. Make sure that the Yorn isn't getting ganked since he is a little bit weaker in the early game. Um, and try to keep him as live as possible and let him get all that farm since I don't really need that much farm as a support. And that way he makes it to the late game and can melt down those towers. Oh, so that's done again. And then Pure is just going to heal her back up whenever we poke. Um, but we're just going to go and sneak this dragon since I won't be expecting it. It looks like it's going to be free and not contested. So I'll just get a speed boost up to my teammates so everyone go back. And I'm going to go ahead and sit over here in this area and keep vision and make sure that my uh, mid laner doesn't get jumped on. Darkroth is probably about to ult. Looks like he isn't. If I would have slowed down that stun to zone him off me. I'll speed the rogue up. Go and stun the Pyrrha. We should be able to get this kill pretty easily, you know? On the Nacroth, that way it doesn't come back on me. Um, so that team fight wasn't very good for us. We traded three for just one people, one person. Sorry. Um, so we'll just need to make better trades in the future. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and build the Knight's Plate next. Uh, that way it reduces the enemy's basic attacks when they attack, um, when I take any damage from them, and will help me a little bit against this Nacroth. I'll just done the Natalie again. Um, I planned. I thought she would move a little bit farther back. But it looks like she just walked forward and dodged the stun. And so throughout the game with Alice, um, it's good a reminder, like just trying to memorize how the enemies tend to dodge, um, since every person dodges skill shots differently. And some people just quite frankly aren't good at dodging skill shots, so it's very easy to land them. But like that Natalia, um, I'll just have to remember to try to put it more center on her um, and try to land them more often on her. And I'll just go and throw that stun right on top of her and the ultimate on top of that the silencer so she can't escape and that was a really good play by Aram and then Natalia to ult like that um, for both of them so, and we were able to get that kill as well now I'll just go and get Frosty's revenge and that way when I drop my ultimate it'll be really hard for people to get out of it if they don't have any kind of dashes like then Natalia she'll be kind of stuck in my ultimate but guess right on top of her. I'm just keeping vision again around this area. Gonna go and see which camps are up. Um, that way when they do spawn, we'll be able to see it on the mini map. I'm just gonna go and keep vision. I won't do much damage to that dragon. So I'm just gonna see if Nacroth has an idea that we're doing it and is gonna come by or if the Natalia is gonna rotate over. 
Looks like it'll just be another free dragon for us, which is great. And Io will come over here. Oh, Natalia Deadlander is done. We would have been able to kill the Pyrrha there. Keeping vision on his Nacross still. He went in and ulted for some reason. Uh, and it's constantly keeping vision for my team. That way we know where the enemies are and uh, plan around that. She just rolled right into me. That's a little bit interesting. And the Zorn went ahead and built an anti heal item, I guess, to help him lane against the Pure. That's definitely gonna put his damage off for a while. So I'm still just keeping vision and tabs for this Yorn, making sure that he doesn't get ganked or killed and can scale. And then Natalia is bottom. I'll just ping Rally. The rest of them pushes in since our mid laner is dead as well. And that way that farm doesn't go to waste or gets pushed into our tower. And hopefully Natalia comes back. I don't want to have to waste my ult here. I will. Uh, but yeah, I got caught out there. I should have just kept running the other way. I wouldn't have died if I kept running the other way. Uh, but yeah. I think Rourke is just getting some farm. And then Talia is back, thankfully. I'll just go and give us both a speed boost to get out of the spawn and get us there um, back to mid lane quicker. And someone playing a support, you'll just constantly be wanting to look all around. I should have dropped that ult earlier, we would have been able to kill him, I think. Yeah, it's very hard to catch the Nacross, so I usually just jump everywhere. I dropped that ult first, that way she's silenced, and then I want to stun her on top of that. That way, she want to be able to keep chasing Natalia and she'll be able to live. And then I just keep following up with her, since I know that my team is about to rotate over, and we can just get the kill very easily. I'm going to go and pre-aim the stun on top of it, in case Nakroth would come and try. Uh, but Violet just cleared the wave herself. I don't think that's a very good idea. But... Looks like we're going to do it anyways. So as a support, you're just constantly trying to keep that vision. And you may notice I'm just constantly looking across the map the whole time. Um, when I am keeping vision, that way I know if I need to rotate anywhere. And I'll drop that ult to try to keep him off the dark slayer. And we're able to secure it. So we were able to sneak that. Um, I don't think that would have worked against in that competitive play. But I was able to work here. Oh, I healed a little bit too late there. I'll go and give the speed boost. And Pura ulted. That wasn't expecting. I'll just give my ally a little bit of shield while clearing that. Hopefully we're able to push this mid tower now. But against an Italia who has really good wave clear, I'm not sure. I'll just go ahead and speed boost myself up and then ping that tower. The tower is going bottom side. We should be able to get this very quickly right now because Rourke is very good at taking towers. I'll go and give him the speed boost. Fill the stun there. Boom, quad kill. Hopefully I can get some help pushing this. Then we can just keep pushing before the Dark Slayer buff goes away. 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tank it as well. Oh, never mind. Work went over to mid lane. Okay. We got that tower. And they killed Nakroth, which is really good. And we'll just push down, I guess. I'll just go and throw those abilities down that way you get her killed, and that way she can't clear the wave. Yep. And so that's how you play Alice. Um, on top of that, let me go and show you the build here really quick, as well as their Akana. So the Arcana that I like to run on Alice is Indomitable, Benevolence, and Valiance. Um, this gives you lots of HP, some movement speed, some cooldown, as well as some HP regen throughout the game. And then let's go over to Armory. And so, yeah, this is the build I like and personally think is the best possible one on Alice. It gives you plenty of um, HP and armor through the early game. So as long as you're not getting caught out by the enemy mage, you'll be able to sustain very easily. Um, and then after that, I built Home of the Reaper if they have lots of lifesteal built into the kits or, um, yeah, lifesteal built into the kits. That way I can take out and reduce the HP regeneration by 50%. If not, just go ahead and skip that item and build into Aegis. Um, this will give you lots of cooldown, armor, as well as a max mana. Um, and if you ever take damage, the attacker's attack speed is reduced by 30%, and the movement speed is reduced by 15% for 3 seconds, which can be very useful when you're trying to escape, as well as chase someone. Um, and after that, Medallion of Troy for additional cooldown, and to give you the additional HP and magic resistance, and that nice little passive that it has giving you the shield um, can help out a lot. And then after that, I would build into Ancestral Glory. Um, that way, if you do die, you'll go ahead and respawn. Um, so yeah. If you like the video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the Legion channel and be on the lookout for future content. Thank you.